even without a firefight, that makes getting to Nasri that much easier. American. Nasri said nothing about an American. Canadian, actually, but I won't hold that against you. What is your business here, Canadian? Christmas trees. Come on, you know what I'm here for. I call Nasri. Check on you. Go ahead. It's not gonna check out, Mike. You need to take him out before he gets to the radio. Nasri. He's right here. He's got nowhere to run. This should be quick. Give me a sec. You, who are you? See the gun? That's who I am. You do this? Why? I am businessman. Not attack anyone. Look, enough not... already. Tell me where the Halbeck missiles are, or I add you to the body count. The missiles? You are too late. Already gone. Sold. You cause all this trouble for nothing. Sold? To who? I take their cash, not their names. You come a few days ago. Maybe you could have killed them instead of my men, eh? Mike, this is bad news. If he's telling the truth. What you do now, huh? Kill me? That not get your missiles back. Mike, we need to know where those missiles went. If we let him go, he could lead us to the people he sold the missiles to. Or they might come after him. Either way, we win. But if he can't lead us to the buyers, then we've let a killer go, and more people will die. Remember that rocket attack in Money. Europe? The gun. Cash in the account code. I, I get you both. Here, I, I transmit to you. Number check out, see? Good. Now get out of here before the Marines show. Are you sure about this, Mike? Yeah. If we just let him go without a bribe, he would have smelled a trap. Ah. Uh. I want him scared, not paranoid. And a little extra cash might prove useful later on. Fair enough. Search the room. See what you can find. Generator's cut. Got it. I'll signal the choppers now. Can you get to their main computer beneath the camp? I think a way just opened up. Good job, Mike. Not bad for the new guy. All the missions go as smoothly as this? You're alive, aren't you? Try not to alert the camp. If you do, we may lose our chance to find Sheed. Missiles of Shahid get past us. Shahid's here to oversee the transport of the missiles. We can kill two birds with one stone. Looks like most of the trucks have already headed out. Wait a minute. And you have heard nothing from the control tower? No, Shahid. But your plane is prepped and ready for takeoff, as you asked. Looks like Shahid's got a whole lot of ugly with him. Something is wrong. Have our men come to meet the trucks at the checkpoint with the assault vehicles? At once, she. It's Shahid. Should I take the shot? No, if we do that, we lose the missiles. But if you can still intercept the convoy, we have a chance. Foul. So, you thought the death of one terrorist leader would somehow fix the world? I had a mission, I carried it out. Yes, and I commend you, but you're effectively persona non grata around here. That makes two of us, then. There's always one thing I wanted to know. After you killed Shahid, why you did what you did next? Were you trying to find out what happened to your friends? Or were you after me? Trying to bring down Hellback, perhaps? Or maybe you were just cornered, looking for a way out. After your extortion of Nasri, I was expecting a more mercenary welcome. Have you come to kill me? 
I should kill my followers. Eventually. Finding you has been a pain in the ass. Get up. You will not kill an unarmed man. You let Nasri go. Only so I could get to you, Shahid. Don't make this any harder than it has to be. You are here because America's greed demands it. Your country sleeps at help that feet like a dog, hungry for its weapon. Save the preaching. I'm here for the missiles you stole. The missiles I stole? They shipped them to me. Then brand me a thief? I was ordered to recover missiles that were stolen from Halbeck, except now you're telling me they were sold to you. So? There is no difference. There's a huge difference, and everyone who died on that airliner would agree, because that means there's two murderers, not one. Helbeck will never answer for what they did, and you have destroyed all evidence of their involvement. You're still breathing. My testimony will never survive me. In custody, I will be found, hanged, a suicide. Go back to your Helbeck masters. Tell them of your great success. I don't work for Halbeck. Ah, and neither did I. A comforting thought, but it is a lie. You already know something is wrong. The data you found in the detention cells of our camp, that was not stolen with your data. That was given to us. You have two choices. You can believe me or kill me. Helbeck uses you, but you do not see their influence. You will. Trust me in this. I believe you, but evidence would help. The missiles are not enough? Perhaps not. I have other information, and I can obtain more. You mean if I let you go? No chance. I give you my word. If you know anything about me, you know I honor a promise when given. When you see Hellbeck for what it is, I will come back and speak to you again. I will not hide. And I will bring proof. All right. I'm willing to see it. What is this proof? Call your agency. Tell them I am dead. But to remove yourself from the area first, before the call, give false coordinates. Unless you wish to speak to your dad next. Where are you going? I will contact you. And I think the information I can provide will be worth the time you have spent looking for me. Mike? I'm here. I... dealt with Shahid. And the missiles? I've disabled the convoy. I haven't confirmed how many missiles we've recovered. Your first priority is to... Westridge? Westridge, do you read me? Mike, get out of there. Mina? I'm tracking multiple missiles homing in on your coordinates. Get out of what here. What the hell? to being evidence? How did they get these coordinates? That's the other problem. I think they have someone inside Alpha Protocol. And whoever it is fed them the coordinates for the missile strike. Is there a way to track down who had access to my coordinates? Not cleanly, no. But it had to be one of your handlers in Saudi Arabia. Well, that's a short list. I'd like it to be shorter. Any other facts you can give me? If I knew more, I'd share. No one knows I'm talking to you right now. We'll figure this out. For now, I need a way out of Saudi Arabia with the information I got from Shahid. Already on it, Mike. Thanks, Mina. And thanks for saving my ass. It's my job, but you're welcome. Besides, I don't really like the idea of anything happening to that ass of yours on my watch. That was an interesting response. I'd like to follow up on that. Later. Just stay alive, Mike. All right? Fine. So I need to get back to base. Can you get any choppers out here? Mike, you can't come back. What? You're rogue. I checked the feeds. They've already sent out notifications to the intelligence agencies about your status. If they find you, they'll give you up to the government. If they don't kill you first. Wait, what about Alpha Protocol? That's what the agency is for. To allow agents to carry out no. ops like this. It's 
to allow the government to deny ops like this. So that if they're exposed, they can say they had no involvement. Mike, you're on your own. Alpha Protocol's the only thing protecting you right now. I'm still analyzing the information I got from Shahid, but so far it checks out. He's been busy. So was Halbeck. So there was a connection between Al Samad and Halbeck. Looks that way. But what worries me is why. According to this, Halbeck's got three targets. Taipei, Rome, and Moscow. Transmitting the information now. Looks like the missiles were shipped through Moscow. Halbeck's got a distributor there, or had one. As for Rome, it looks like an Al Samad cell was activated, but I don't know why. And in Taipei, Ronald Sung, the president of Taiwan. Someone's been ordered to assassinate him. This doesn't make sense. What does Halbeck hope to gain? A profit. Halbeck wants to raise global tensions, spark a cold war, and turn the world into their private marketplace. They'll be able to secure military contracts and a steady consumer base for their weapons for years to come, if they succeed. I need to get this information where it will do some good. No one will listen, Mike. Not only are you rogue, but Halbeck's gotten inside Alpha Protocol somehow. If you're caught... I know. Execution, imprisonment, possibly another lecture by Westridge. I'm on my own. No, not exactly. They used you. But we can use Alpha Protocol. There's so many levels of secrecy to it. Not even the staff know all the resources the program has. Like? Safe houses, weapons. If you're going after these targets, you'll need a base of operations in each city. I can dig up some spots that aren't listed in any records. Like this one? Better. <laughs> I think. It sounds like you're going after these targets then. Just because they tried to drop a missile on me doesn't mean I'm giving up on my mission. If Halbeck's trying to manipulate world events, it's my responsibility to stop them. Also, I don't like that they used me to do their dirty work, sending me to kill Shahid and get their merchandise back. No way am I letting them get away with that. Judging from the data, Mike, it may be a good thing. If Halbeck's trying to cause a cold war... They've made a mistake. They're going to cause a real one. The reporter. The photographer? Scarlet. You met her leaving Saudi, then in Taipei. But after that, we lost track of her. Guess you've got limits after all? I always wondered how you two happened to meet. Coincidence? I don't know. Misery loves company. Care to share? No, not really. Same old Saudi Arabia. Not quite like the brochure, huh? I'm Scarlet. Mike. So, Mike, what brings you to this exciting corner of the world? Secret agent. <laughs> right. It's better if you don't believe me anyhow. All right, be honest. Has that worked on anyone? How impressed are you? Not. All right. My turn's over. How about you? Those your legs? Other page. Cover story by Scarlet Lake. Photojournalist. One of the best. Dangerous work around these parts, I'd imagine. If there's no risk, it's not important. I think you're onto something. Here. Call me. I have a lot of contacts in the area. Maybe we can work out a trade. If you should hear anything, of course. If I hear anything juicy, you're the first person I'll call. I appreciate that. You know, there's something about you. Makes me think I might just be sitting next to a headline. You might want to stick close then. Maybe I will. You don't really have an option for the next few hours. But after that... Well, I... I have to get some work finished before we land. Okay. Let me know if you do anything scandalous. Will do. <laughs> <laughs> 